right, so it's been pretty much confirmed now for a couple of, I think, days. Shield Hero is the next collab coming in at the 25th? Yes. Oh, 24th or 25th. Sometimes they drop it on Wednesday of April. We have been pretty much on the know that April, end of April, would be a collab. Just that's the pattern they've had for a little while now. And a couple of weeks ago, actually two weeks ago, 7DS Leaks tweeted that there is like a costume change for Philo, like a new outfit for her, and that pretty much confirms that it would have been, but he has actually come and said on Discord that looking at files and stuff, Shield Hero is next. It is after Valenti, and these are the names of the characters that are on the files. They don't have the actual names, which is kind of annoying, but it has character hero, son, king, and character hero, son, soldier. So yeah, Shield Hero is coming up next. So is it, it going to be a good summon? Well, it's, it's weird. This is, I think, the return of the most recent collab we've had, when you look at it. Because when, when you take a look at some of these other returns that we've had, like ReZero, when ReZero came back, uh, they, brought ba they brought in Echidna and, and Reinhardt, and the old characters got relics, right? Because they don't they didn't have relics before. So that was kind of like a buff to the old characters. And same for KOF when they got a rerun, they got relics. And Attack on Titan rerun recently, right? And the older characters got relics. This is is this the first time a collab is gonna rerun and the older characters can't get relics? I think so. I'm trying to I think so. So this is the first time, unless I'm misremembering, because, yeah, Slime came back, they buffed the old characters, which were so, so old, and gave them relics. And I think for Shield Hero, since it's some of a, some of a more recent collab, it's, it's like a newer age collab, because there, there is a period, there is a pre and and post of grand cross like there's like the pre holy relic grand cross and the post holy relic grand cross and show the hero is one that came out after i would say given that these characters already have relics unless they get buffed they will be irrelevant anyways like the only other thing that they would get is like a new outfit which is like okay uh, he's gonna he's gonna get a new weapon now he's gonna get a new weapon and like that, that's, he's still worthless, right? He's still unusable. So unless these characters get actual passive buffs, you know, the only character of the old Shield Hero Bash that's actually really good still is Kizuna. Like having Kizuna is really good. And she was free, which <laughs> it's funny that usually the free characters are the ones that last the longest, right? She was free. And I would wonder if they would give her for free again. Because they must know she's the best. That's why they did... So, Attack on Titan came out back recently, right? And they... 100% knew Mikasa was going to be the most, you know, usable of the characters. Of the old characters. So, they didn't give her for free. Right? They gave Mikasa the best relic. They gave her the best stuff. And they gave her free Levi, which is the most worthless of the three. Ah! Yeah, debatable, but still garbage, right? Still garbage. So, I would be honestly pretty doubtful that they would give Kizuna for free again, if at all. Because when they when we got the stinky Tower of God collab, we got zero free units, right? But I think it's a different thing. I don't know if a rerun would have the exact same, like, uh, uh, no free character sort of deal that they had here in any case collab is returning and none of the characters are good except kizuna and kizuna kizuna is still good for like you know final boss farming for sure and the demon king fight other than that i can think of many other places are actually good at but those two things she's like really really great at and having her is great so if they do give her for free that'll be huge and, you know, if you already have her, because you got her for free when, when she came out, that's great. But, new characters are 
you know, probably what's going to be the most interesting because would they buff these old, these old characters? Would they buff now for me? That's the question. I don't know. They didn't necessarily buff the Attack on Titan characters when you look at it. Like, yeah, they somewhat buffed them. Then they no, they didn't. They didn't really buff them. They just gave her the. They just gave them the holy relics, right? So I don't know. I don't know. Would they buff them? I I find it unlikely. I. And if they don't, the collab is kind of dead. Because, really looking at it, the, there's only one usable character and plus the other two, but... We'll see. That's one big issue with Attack on Titan when it came back. You know, Attack on Titan, yeah, like, obviously the two main characters were also pretty mid at launch, which didn't help. But if they had buffed the old characters, it would have helped a lot, right? So hopefully they don't make the same mistake again. But from the names that we were given, so, Hero Sun King and Hero Sun Soldier, th that gives us nothing, right? One guess I was gonna have was that the, if, if Shield Hero was to return, that one of the characters would have been Melty. Because I, I only watched Season 1 of, of Shield Hero, as probably most of you, because Season 2 took a nosedive. <laughs> but Melty was kind of part of the main crew. But, I don't know, from the names, it's hard to see it, you know? King and Soldier, I don't know about Melty. I will be honest, I was looking up some Shield, Shield Hero characters, right? Don't know, don't remember this guy. Shield Hero came out, what, in 2016? When did, sh when? Shield Hero Season 1 release date. When did Shield Hero come out? 2019, okay, man. Dude, that was a long time ago. I watched it as it was coming out. So, it's been a while. Don't remember this guy. Looks like a soldier. <laughs> uh, I remember her. Can't forget about her. Could she be the king it's been referring to? It would be crazy if they released... What, what's her name? What did he call her? Bitch or something? <laughs> I forgot what he, what he called her. It would be crazy if they released her as, uh, as one of the playable characters. <laughs> I would love that. There's a, a actual the king, right? Which I, I don't I don't see them making him an actual character though. And then this guy, I think this guy, I don't remember exactly what he did, but I remember him. Like I saw him when I was looking for characters, and I remember him. So that must say something. He could be. I, I think he could be one of the characters coming up. Spear Hero. He, he might have been one of those douche archetype of characters. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rewatch re, re, uh, Shield Hero. It's 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 Jover. Like, unless season three is really is it is it is the new one coming out? Season three, or season four. I don't know. I just know season two was kind of bad. I stopped watching. Uh, sort of like towards the first few episodes. Then I I I heard no good things about anything else after that, so if you're a fan of Shield Hero, sorry, I I only watch that much. But yeah, I know what you guys think, are, are you planning on summoning? I mean, to be honest, I think, without even seeing the new characters, right? There's gonna be an anniversary a month later. It's really hard <laughs> to say, yeah guys, collab, that's so hype, I'm so excited, everyone should summon. Like, anniversary is coming up a month after that. And they've said in dev notes, I guess I should have pulled this up too. They said that they are planning I on. The oh, believe. I opened my own video here. They said they're planning on releasing more festivals more frequently. So I'm actually pull it, pull it up. What I'm talking about. The, in the in this dev note video here, I went through. Um, wherever it is. Okay, yeah. Festival heroes will be updated faster than previously. You know? Like, should you be summoning on potentially some mid collabs like AOT? <laughs> you know? Was. Instead of, you know, putting more gems towards uh, festivals, that's a real question, right? Especially uh, this new Valencia just came out. And. She will not be in a banner for some time, but she will 100% where is she? 
be putting banners very often because she is like a beast helper. So the game actually wants you to have her. The game is going to be putting putting her on banners as like a, a way of selling the banner as well. So this collab coming up, she's not gonna be in it, but I would say most people would have a good time having her and you know, potentially anniversary, she might actually show up. Like I wouldn't be surprised, maybe not, but Maybe the, the faster one after that. I think it's a pretty good chance. If you don't want someone for her now, because you're waiting for her to come back. I know, I'm just adding it to a point because it is a character that a lot of people should have, but not maybe not a good summon right now, because why would you even bother beating Floor 3 over Rat if there's no relics to make, really? But that's what I'm thinking. Let me know what you guys think about the collab run. I mean, if they buff the old characters, that would be a thing. Like, if they buff... Now for me, Reftalia, that would be a different idea here, but are they going to? I find it unlikely.